What up my friends, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we have another Sam's Club haul I am so excited to share with you. And I also grabbed a couple things to share in one of our fun taste tests, which was Sam's Club has been hit or miss for me, so I'm excited to share that. One of the taste test items actually serves as a little bit of an inspiration for a quick weeknight meal idea, and it is Thanksgiving vibed. The other one is a pack of cookies. It's just a pack of cookie dough, which I forgot to mention. An exciting thing about this cookie dough, it actually says that it's safe to eat raw. So if you're a cookie dough fan like me and you don't even care about taking the time to put them in the oven, you can just straight up eat the cookie dough. So that's kind of exciting. But we do end up baking those. I did try the cookie dough though, because I will never turn down cookie dough and it was delicious as cookie dough as well. Anyway, so that's gonna be in this video. We've got a dinner idea and then the cookie idea. We will share our honest thoughts, our reviews, our rating, all of that good stuff in this video. I also cannot see the viewfinder right now, so I have no idea what I look like. So if I look like a bridge troll, my hair is a disaster, please forgive me. If I have evidence of me having children, I do have three toddlers. So I can't see the viewfinder. You wanna know why? I forgot to reorder my contacts, okay? And I'm so upset about this because I truly cannot wear my glasses around my kids. They will break them or they attempt to use them as like a medieval torture device against myself, themselves, or one of their siblings. So I have basically been blind all week long. I obviously could have worn my glasses to talk to you guys because they're napping right now and they can't come and get me. But the glare was so bad that anyways, it's a whole thing. So contacts have been shipped as of this morning. I will be back to having vision again pretty soon. If you happen to be new here, hello, welcome to the chaos. How are you? How is the family? Thank you so much for clicking on that thumbnail and giving me a chance. On this channel, we do share a lot of haul videos. So you'll see Sam's Club, Costco, BJ's has been added into the mix recently. And I should have another Trader Joe's one coming soon because I've been itching to get over there because they have the new holiday items out. And I do share meal inspiration, dinner recipes, things like that. So if you end up enjoying the vibe while you're here, I would love it if you'd consider subscribing. Without further ado, let's jump into the haul. All right, friends, we have a Sam's Club haul that I had no intention of even showing you because I thought I was just going in for a few things. But as we were going through our stuff, we realized we needed more and more and more. And then it became worthwhile of your time. So here we are with a Sam's Club haul. I think I spent $260, something like that. I recently purchased some ground chicken at Sam's Club and had to bring it back tonight because it was like rancid. So I ended up switching it um, because they didn't have any ground chicken on the floor. So they refunded me for the ground chicken that was bad. When I went out on the floor, all the ground chicken was gone. So I assume that means that the ground chicken was possibly a bad batch or something because there was plenty when I went the last time and now there was none. So anyways, I ended up going with ground turkey instead. Also, I have had ahi on my list for months now and I keep talking myself out of it because it's just so pricey but it was a whopping dollar off tonight and that was enough to push me off the edge and just grab them. So John just walked in and hurt. <laughs> that dollar really made a difference in Kate's mind. Make it make sense. Girl math. Now I saw this and we're going to include this in a taste test. I thought this was really intriguing. Raw stuffed turkey breast with sage and cranberry stuffing. I'm very excited for that. I'm thinking about making like some type of a gravy to pour over it. I also grabbed some Just Bear chicken nuggets. I didn't really love the Sam's ones last time, like the Sam's brand, so I just went with Just Bear. I saw this that will also be included in the taste test. It's a three pack of cookie dough. I think this is perfect for the holiday season. It came with Reese's Pieces. I always say this wrong. What is it? Reese's Pieces. But I want to say Reese's Pieces. Oreo and Monster. I'm really excited about that. I think... I think we'll probably try the monster with you guys. We'll see. We also were running low on sour cream. So I grabbed some sour cream. Same thing with butter. We were running low on this. This comes with like four packs of butter. So that's cool. Running low on cream cheese, which is really funny because I feel like we didn't run low on cream cheese forever. And then finally we've started using cream cheese a lot and things. And then like obviously holiday season, a lot of baking I do, I do with cream cheese. So got some of that. I got three packs of the three half gallon carton milks, 2% milk this time. And then also grabbed some of this extra sharp cheddar cheese. And over here, I grabbed this huge thing of eggs because Sam's Club did not have any other sized eggs. So I had to grab 15 dozen, which sounds wild, but we go through it so fast that honestly, it's only going to take up real estate for a little while and then we will have gone through a lot of it. 
Over here, we have a Caesar salad kit. I have been liking to make myself wraps on tortillas with Caesar salad kit and chicken nuggets. It's been like my thing lately, so there's that. I also grabbed some kiwis and some raspberries for the kiddos. And then of course, our emotional support bananas. I grabbed some sweet potatoes because I forgot to grab those last time. We love uh, serving those to the kids. Huge bag of lemons because I am gonna be making a dessert recipe that needs lemons, so we got that. Also got my kids' favorite thing ever. All three of them are obsessed. The cuties, little mandarins. I love these too because they're so easy to peel, you know? I also needed some lotion and I saw this one and it was on sale. So I grabbed it instead of the usual one. I usually grab the, I think it's Cetaphil or something. I don't know if I'm saying it right. At Costco, it's like a huge two pack. Samson and sell it, they sold V, but it was like a smaller package and I felt like it was around the same price. So I might just wait till I get to Costco to get the one I usually get, but I grabbed this to hold me over. I also have another recipe where I needed some type of a sweet bread. So I grabbed Hawaiian. I saw this in the kids books area and it's like a Christmas book. My kids love this book. I shouldn't say they love this book because they've never had this one before, but this style book, this whole Never Touch A series, they have dinosaur, spider, uh, shark. There's a bunch of different ones. So I thought the Christmas one was really cute. I grabbed that for them. I'm not excited about this. They only had Bertoli Alfredo and there's like a lot of nonsense. I have raspberries on almost every package. I don't know how that happened. There's kind of a lot of nonsense in these, but when you're in a pinch, it'll work. And then last but not least, I grabbed our dog Stella, some of these chicken jerkies. I also don't love this one. The Costco one is way better because the Costco one only has one or two ingredients in it. This one, they add potato starch and salt. Whereas the Costco one, I think it's just chicken and glycerin. I don't know why you would need to add salt, but whatever. We're probably not getting to Costco for another couple weeks. So that's just to hold us over for now. Anyway, so that's everything I grabbed at Sam's Club this evening. We're gonna dive into the taste test for the cookies and these little turkey breast thingies over here. Friends, we have an exciting taste test to share with you. John is mostly excited because this taste test gave me a reason to make my mashed potatoes. Well, it was a joint effort. John started it off, I finished it off. Everything's great over here. So this is a turkey breast stuffed with, I think it was cranberry and stuffing. Uh, yeah. Could be a liar, but I'm gonna put, put a picture up on the screen. This brand has a chicken cordon bleu that we are absolutely obsessed with. And they also had a fajita stuffed chicken that we really, really liked. And usually you can catch these on sale at Sam's Club, sometimes also at Costco, for around $10 for six portions of chicken. I think that's a stellar deal. And you just pop it in the air fryer, sir. How long did you do that for? 20 minutes 20 in minutes. the air fryer, flip it halfway through. I didn't show that, but flip it halfway it through. It happened. All of these things cook the exact same. And is it 350 degrees? 400. 400, 20 minutes, flip it halfway through. Flip the bird. So anyways, this is basically like a Thanksgiving vibe and we served it with mashed potatoes and a gravy packet. We don't always do gravy packets. We usually do homemade gravy, but we're just, we're going with easy tonight. Also currently in our oven, we'll hopefully be done in a couple minutes to taste test after this is monster cookies. Oh yeah. So stick around. Okay, so we're gonna try this out. I'll go first. I try and get a part that has stuff in it, you know. Oh, it has cranberry. Did I not just say that? <laughs> Husband ears. You know what I'm saying? You you guys know what I'm saying out there. Husband ears, man. Ah! Poker face. Bad poker face. You like that? You don't know that. Look at that, guys. Cookies just came out of the oven. We'll let them cool a little. Listen here. Listen here. Those things have yet to let me down. They seriously, if you just need a guaranteed meal, pick that up. They're easy. Keep it in the freezer. They don't take up any space because you can take them out of the box and just stick them in the freezer in their little pouches. Like that's the one really great thing that came with the pandemic because that's what That we is true. It. So the reason why we found out about this is because during that time, 2020, the best year of everybody's life, <laughs> we uh, went at my work, they were offering meals for all of the employees so you just showed up once a week and they gave you your meals and you could 
donate them, share them with friends, share them with family, whatever. They were free for all employees. So one week I showed up and they had a chicken parm meal as the option. And it was so good. And I found out from my supervisor that they had used the chicken cordon bleu barber foods thingamabobber <laughs> and then put marinara sauce on it. And that was it. We're actually sold at Sam's Club and Costco. So as soon as I found out about that, I was like, I need it. So I ended up buying it and then we would buy it every few months and it stuck with us ever since. So four years yeah. we've been buying that brand, little convenience things, but we had always been buying the chicken cordon bleu. And then about a year ago they started, or I don't know if I had just missed it in the past, but I started noticing they have different variations of it. So that's how we led to this evening where we had Thanksgiving on a plate. In the the chicken cordon blues, when they first started coming out, I don't know how long this company's been around. I don't either. When they were like first coming out, like they were hard to find. Yeah, they were. They were selling out like crazy, but yeah. now you can find them pretty easy. This one's probably like my least favorite of the three, but I still love it. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, agree. Like chicken cordon bleu is top for me, then the fajita one, and then now this one. Mostly because I just don't really love stuffing. It's very like earthy to me. It's uh -huh. like an earthy flavor and that's just not my favorite vibe. If you're looking for a Thanksgiving vibe or even on Thanksgiving in itself, if you have a small family and you don't want to go crazy and do an entire turkey, this would, this would totally hit all of those vibes. Yeah. I would give this probably a seven out of 10. I'm going for the turkey thing. Seven and a half mashed potatoes, ten. <laughs> the mashed potatoes, always a ten. <clears throat> and they're so easy to make in the instant pot. I've done that on this channel before, so I'll link that video down below. The cookies that we're about to taste test now, those ones cook 350 degrees for 15 minutes. It's just little circles of dough come out perfect. And it was a three pack of cookies. It came with Monster, Reese's Pieces, and Oreo. And we tried the Reese's last night. That what, was a what nine. What makes this monster? It's monster is a specific type of cookie that's made with like oatmeal and like oh. they put like M and M's. I want to say in there. Oh. Yeah, John's favorite. Ooh. So those cookies last night, the Reese's one, I'd probably give it a nine. Yeah, I would. And then so. we didn't try the Oreo yet, so I can't report back on that. But I'm gonna say that's probably good. So I, you can't really cookies and cream cookies. I mean, could you go wrong? You know. So we are gonna go ahead and try the cookie next okay the cookies are done this is what it looks like boom this is a monster cookie look at the inside Ooh. we like a softer cookie so i went with the 15 minutes but you could go up to 20. john what are your thoughts i don't know those better you mean reese's yeah i mean the reese's i disagree i like that way better which is weird but here we are. Here we are. I I don't know how to do my answer. Still a good cookie. So good. I I think that like this would not be John's vibe. I would sprinkle a little sea salt on it. Ooh. I'm just saying. It's got that kind of vibe where it's kind of like a sweet and salty cookie. So I think that's why it's not your favorite. Because uh, it's got that vibe happening. Yeah, it does. And it's definitely oatmeal-y. It's like an oatmeal-based cookie. Yes. I'm giving that one a 9 out of 10. Mm-hmm. I sure am, John. A squeeze me? I sure am. <clears throat> That's a 9 out of 10. That's like a 7. So this was a Pillsbury 3-pack from Sam's Club, but your regular grocery store might sell the Monster Cookie mix by itself. You mm. know what I mean? I'm going 9 out of 10. You said 7? Yeah. And now I want to make the Oreo. You know what I mean? Tomorrow. Yeah, well, I don't think so, because I don't think I can do three cookies True. Three, three days in a row. I don't think I can do it, John. This weekend. Maybe this weekend, yeah. That is all the feedback we had to give for corporate. That's all they requested this time. Um, yeah, Pretty Kate's sure. mashed potatoes are John approved. They're John approved. So that is everything. That's all the feedback we're going to get over to corporate. I hope we delivered whatever you needed when you clicked on that thumbnail, and I hope you have a magical day. Bye.